Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have another Divi tutorial for the Divi blog module. And in this one, we're just going to show you how to remove the meta separators. And what I mean by that, it will say like by author. And then between the author and the date, it'll be a, a vertical line. We call them a pipe. And then, you know, between the the date and the category, there's another one. And it's impossible to remove them except through uh, JavaScript. So we're going to show you how to do that. It's a quick one, but it also builds on some other tutorials that we have coming up. So we needed to do this one. And I hope you guys find this useful. Let's get started. All right. So this tutorial is perhaps a little bit odd. I don't know, as like a standalone, but once I do the next one, the one that's going to be coming out next week, you know, um, the one that will follow this in order on our blog and on our YouTube channel, basically you're going to look back at this and be like, ah, this all makes sense. But there's also standalone reasons that you would want to use this, but I'm just saying this is kind of, this is part of my series on the blog module. And you know, when you look back and look at them all, this will all make sense. Okay. So there's really no good solution out there at all that I could find um, because I wanted to remove these separators. And the one thing that I see suggested sometimes is like to actually copy the blog module, copy the PHP file from Divi and put it in your child team and modify and all that. And like, that's, wow, that's okay. That's an extreme way of, of doing this small thing. Um, but we're going to do it with jQuery and I think it's, I think it's a, a very practical way to do it. I really think it's effective and it works great. So let's do it. So first of all, basically obviously have your blog module and I want to show you what I'm talking about here. So here I have my demo and you know, by default, I have the author on the date and the categories and the way it does it, it puts the word by in front of the author name. And then between the author and the date, it has like a pipe, they call them pipes. It's, you know, a vertical line. And then between the date and the category is another line. I accidentally just clicked on my category here, but here you can actually see them a little better. You can see the, the way that the author link is highlighted and the dogs. But anyway, the, the word by and the pipes, we're going to remove them and the tutorial will, the code works either way, whether you just want to remove the by from the author or the pipes or both. Either one you get to pick. All right, so what we're gonna do is enable the visual builder on this page. Now, with jQuery, there's there's a couple places you could add it. I'm gonna go in here and show you, basically what you would do is go to Divi and then theme options. And normally you would, you would place the code in the integration tab here, you know, maybe you have some other code here. Uh, here it says add code to the head of your blog. So we're in the integration tab of theme options. That would be the best place. Now you can also put it directly on the page. Now in the code that I have here in the tutorial, we have added a custom class. We just made one up, PA remove meta separators. If for example, you didn't have those, I'll try to teach you here rather than just give, it, it would just say post meta. And then it would be looking in the post meta for the for the buy and the pipe, okay? Since we've added a class, we are able to put this whole snippet into the theme options area. And I'm gonna do that. So if I would go here, I copied it, and now I just paste it in here. Remember, we have this class in the code. So we need to add that class to any blog modules that we want this to apply to. Maybe it's just one, maybe you have multiple, maybe you have a blog module on your homepage, but and on your blog page and other places, but you only want this particular effect on one, whatever. That's why you would add a class like this. So if I go back here, I would enable the visual builder. And basically we just need to add the class to this module. So go to the, the module, the blog module, open up the settings, go to the advanced tab, open the CSS ID and classes toggle. And right here you can see CSS class. We'll just paste that in. Make sure you do not have a period at the beginning. And there you go. So take a, a good look here. It's, it's obviously not going to take effect immediately because we're in the daily builder. As soon as we exit, it will take effect. But just take a, look, a good look. Just notice the buy and the pipes. And now, you know, we're going to save and exit. And, you know, once we get out of the builder,
there you go. You can clearly see that the by has been removed and the pipes. All right, they can see it, you know, highlighted it a little more. And, and again, you may be saying, why in the world would we want to do this? Well, you just wait. I'll, I'll teach you here in my next tutorial. I'm going to answer a question that I've never seen answered, but I get all the time. How to move one of these items, such as the date or the category, up over top of the image. So I'm going to show you how to move any and all of them up over the image, kind of highlight them real nicely. And in order for you to do that, well, you can't have a pipe hanging out. Like, like if we move categories up here, highlight the category, it'd be pipe category. It'd be really stupid. Um, so by removing these, that would be step one for that. You know, and like I said, you don't have to use, you don't have to use both. Notice in the code here, but we have a line that is removing the pipes, the vertical lines, and then a second line that's removing the by. If you only wanted to remove the by, all you would have to do is remove the other line. See that? So you, you keep the line that's removing the by. Okay. And then also take note of like the second half here. This second half is for when you have pagination enabled. Like if I um, go in here and change it to like only show three blog posts, but I want to have pagination enabled like this. Here I have it on six, but if I set it to three, we know there's more than three posts. Therefore, if we turn on show pagination here under the elements, um, it's going to bring up, you know, the page numbers. And of course we have a tutorial styling those really beautifully in the middle here. I really like how that tutorial turned out but basically once we have that it, it creates like an ajax call so basically look at this if i click on two see how it like has to like reload the blog module basically to the next group of posts or if i click on three so the reason that we have the second the whole second half here notice the comment it'll apply when pagination is used it's because it's working when that Ajax is enabled. So you have to have that second part. And again, if you were just removing the one there, you can remove it from there to match. Okay. So again, if I just save that, let's go, let's save that just to show you this yet. Now I'll refresh my page and now we're just removing the buy. See the pipe scheme back. So that now it's actually kind of nice. I actually kind of really like this because Instead of using a pronoun like that, or I guess not a pronoun, whatever you call it, by author, we don't say on date or in category. You know what I mean? We don't say those words. So in a sense, we've achieved consistency by removing the by. Author, date, category. I don't know. Does that make sense? Uh, let me know if I'm thinking uh, correctly there. I think it makes sense consistent wise. And I will show you the other way to add this code. So like I was showing you putting it in theme options, but if we copy that again and we can actually go into our individual page rather than having it in theme options. First of all, I'm going to go get rid of the code that we already had in there in theme options, because I want to show you how this can work directly in, in the page. So I'm just going to, Find what we've added, get rid of it. Okay, that way we, we know that we're not using that. That's no longer being used. In fact, I'll refresh here and see that they've come back. Okay, there they are. Now I'm going to enable the visual builder on this particular page, and we're going to add the code into a code module. Some people like this method. I, I don't particularly because I like to keep all my code in one place over there in theme options. But I can see the value in this, especially if you did not want to bother with a custom class. If you did not have this custom class added here and in the blog module, adding it to this page would isolate this code to just work on this page, okay? So if you had a blog module on another page now, or without the class, and it was just targeting post meta. It was just looking in any blog module post meta. 
it would only affect this page because we're putting it in a code module on this page. So the code module just sort of disappears there. You can see it when you click on the wireframe mode right here. You can see code. Um, there it is. Okay. So basically when I would save now by adding it to this page, it, again, it doesn't show up in the visual builders. I'm going to save and exit. And again, this is just an alternative if you want to do it this way. And there you go. You can see that it is working fine. So I hope you can get good use out of this. And again, stay tuned for our next tutorial. You'll see it here on our channel if you are subscribed and on our blog if you've signed up for notifications there. So I'm really excited for that. And this is kind of like the prequel to that. And I think we've covered it. You know, I have, just have a, a little information here that I've already covered. Um, and again, adding the the CSS class, you know, you don't have to add it. If you did want to customize it, like if you d if you did take out, you could take out this whole thing, and it would just target post meta. It makes it very broad, like you know what I mean. Like it's not specific at all to that blog. Now, if I added another blog module on another page, and I did not add that class, it would still target it. So there you go. Hope that makes sense, and yeah, hope you can find this useful. All right, so there you go. That's how you remove those meta separators. If you did enjoy this, then definitely be looking for our next video because the next one is going to um, build on this and you're going to really like it because I've been asked about the next one a lot. Be sure you're subscribed and we'll see you all in the next video.